In 10 years of creativity, a decade of hard work, but a lifetime of excellence. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Beer vs. Bureau. We've got the Ruin 10 by Stone. It is a triple IPA at, rated at 10.8%. And this happens to be the vanilla bean and orange peel version. There is a regular version, as you probably already know, but we're gonna review this one. So, stick around. The Ruin 10 by Stone Brewing Company is like that one friend who wants to make the after party last all night long. And pretty much just never stop partying. This is the fifth year of the Ruin 10. And this version uses a really tasty orange vanilla bean mixture, as well as some extra hops thrown in because why not? At 10.8% ABV, you'll want to sip this beer, even though you really want to guzzle this boost up orange cream sickle of a brew. That's a first. Get this nice little pour in, get a little bit of head action going on. And good. Pretty good head. Not too much. So on the pour, it's very cloudy. It almost looks unfiltered, actually. Very nice uh, honey color, amber, uh, deep orangish hue. As to be expected, there's a deep orange top layer. It's very top heavy. I don't smell too much vanilla bean, so I'm assuming that that's probably present in the actual mix so that when you take it and you know enjoy the finish it probably tapers off the bitterness a little bit. We'll see. So again on the nose, top heavy orange um, and malt in the middle. That's where some of the pininess comes in. Not very resinous just hoppy and then on the back end like I was saying and I was correct um, it finishes off with the bitterness but it's tapered off with the vanilla bean so to clear up any confusion revolving the legacy of this beer the Ruination IPA came out in 2002 its 10th anniversary came out in 2012 that was supposed to be a one and done but people loved it so much that they continued to do it every year so on that note there's been a Ruin 10 since 2012. There's Ruin 10 2013, Ruin 10 2014, 2015, 2016, and of course now. Body-wise, it resembles, of course, the Ruination IPA. Uh, the Ghost Hammer IPA, which just came out, also resembles the same kind of body. It's, 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 it stands in there, but it's not too incredibly just like heavy on the gut and also on the palate. 10.8% alcohol by volume is by no means a light beer, but the Ruination also isn't a light beer. So the fact that this has been taken up a, a notch higher makes it all the better. Um, however, just be forewarned. It's definitely something that'll put you on your butt for a little while. In fact, a couple of years ago, I, actually I think a few years ago now, Stone came out with a version of their smoked porter that was infused with orange peels, uh, which made it taste like a Cadbury orange, um, you know, the one you smash from the table. This has a similar orange flavor and similar type of taste. So if you know what that tastes like, you can kind of tell how this tastes like, only it doesn't taste like a stout. It tastes like a, an orangey IPA. Just giving a little frame of reference here. All right, so time for the artwork, even though we all know how this is gonna go down. This bottle is different. In fact, it's quite different from a lot of their artwork. Um, the Ruin 10 artwork, the original um, bottle, actually had font that's similar to this. It has font that's similar to this, I should say. Plus, um, had a few extra things, few extra shapes and um, you know, just unique uh, assets on the bottle and on the artwork that made it truly unique. This one in particular is also very unique and I'm really loving the um, colors, how they're married together, the orange and the green. Uh, kind of reminds me of their, uh, I believe it was a carrot, 24 carat or I forget, uh, it was a carrot cake flavored or maybe not carrot cake flavor but carrot. I can't remember it off the top of my head but if you look it up, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, but other than that, the it looks really good. I like it. 
and it's it's very it's very refreshing to look at even though um you know it's not typically their style i love it so apparently this version of the ruin tin is hoppier than the original ruin tin i don't I, I I don't I can't tell because I mean the last time I had a ruined tin was actually last year, so it, maybe for the next review I'm actually going to do the ruined tin because I don't have that review under my belt, and maybe I'll buy another one of these and then compare the two, just, just do a sort of like face off. Well, it's not really a face off. It's just going to be to see which one, you know, if it's actually really hoppier in this beer or not. I would be curious to know what kind of hops they use because from what I can tell, um, it kind of tastes like they have some El Dorado hops in here, maybe uh, some Galaxy hops, and it's apparently so good that flies are wanting to jump in the action, but that's not going to happen. I value my beer more than I value my life. Stone experiments a lot. And that's one of the qualities about them that I appreciate the most because they're not afraid to take something that um, pretty much is their staple. I mean, even if it's award-winning, they're not afraid to take it, deconstruct it, do something new with it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, they have that grit and that just um, you know curiosity about them that I appreciate. You know, I'm not going to call it innovative. It's not innovation. It's just being naturally curious about what you can and cannot do. Well guys, if you like this review, you know what to do. Click the like and subscribe button. And if you could do me a little favor and share it with your friends, family, beer drinkers, soon to be beer drinkers, beer aficionados, people who are slightly interested in beer, maybe just a tiny bit. If you can share this and get it in their eyes and in their ears, that would be great. Until then, Cheers, and always drink better beer.